Greetings. Back at it. Today we're going to be doing some Bootstrap front-end library certification stuff. Uh, introduction. Basically, Bootstrap is a front-end uh, framework used to design responsive web pages and web applications. It takes a mobile-first approach to web development. Mobile-first. What does that mean? It means that you're developing pages for mobile devices like cell phones and um, iPads and uh, things like that. Bootstrap includes pre-built CSS styles and classes, plus some JavaScript functionality. Bootstrap uses a responsive 12-column grid layout and has design templates for buttons, images, tables, forms, and navigation. To know more about it and how to include Bootstrap in your project, you can visit bootstrap.com. This section introduces some of the ways to use Bootstrap in your web projects. So let's go to the first lesson. Um, in HTML5 and CSS section of Free Code Camp, we built a cat photo app. Now let's make, uh, let's go back to it. This time we'll, uh, we will style it using the popular Bootstrap responsive CSS framework. Bootstrap will figure out how wide your screen is and respond to resizing your HTML elements, hence the name responsive design. With responsive design, there is no need to design a mobile version of your website. It will look good on devices and screens of any width. You can add Bootstrap to, a, to any app by adding the following code to the top of your HTML. So this is what's called a CDN. If you add this code, it pulls from the internet. Now, this will only work as long as you know, bootstrapcdn.com is working. So you can also download Bootstrap and actually inject the code into your websites. But for now, we're just using this... Uh, we're just using this link. Um, so we're linking it across the internet. Uh, in this case, we've already added it for you to the page. So they've already got it here. Um, uh, note that either um, you can use this style or with a close to close the link. So here they've got, what are they saying here? Hmm. Note that using either the single bracket or the close bracket to close the link tag is acceptable. So I think they mean that you can either do that or this. Doesn't make a difference. Um, to get started, we should nest all of our HTML except the link tag and the style element. So we don't want to... Oh. We're not going to do these guys. And the style elements are all the way down to here. This is the style and then this is the link. And so we want to wrap everything um, in a div with the class container fluid. So here's where we go. Div, and then we call it a class is equal to container. And then we want to indent all this, and we go to close div. Now, look at that. If I shrink it, we want our code like this. We want to, ha to have indented all of this. This was back here like this. I'm using shift tab to bring it out. We want to bring it up. And this makes it so that we can remember where our divs come from. This one, this div closes this one. And that way we know it's all in the container fluid. Um, what does this really do? It's hard to know what it does right now. Yeah, so right now you'll notice the margins on the outside. Um, we want to um, sharp, sharpen those margins up uh, like that. And so now this has more spacing in it. And this will sh prove to be, you'll see that it's already mobile responsive. In with just by adding that container, that fluid container. Uh, if we run the test, I think they'll pass. Cool. So yeah, once again, if you're having problems with this, it's probably because you're wrapping. If you put the container fluid maybe up here, um, that would probably cause the test not to pass. But it should, but it's not. Um, you don't want to have that. Uh, you don't. You want to have the style outside of the of the container. And so yeah, that's how you pass this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.